So there's lots of things that we are doing wrong that's leading to increased contact with wildlife in the natural world. And these are the things that we think we need to reduce to prevent the emergence of new infectious diseases. So I'm David Heyman, I'm a professor of infectious disease ecology here at Massey University. What we've shown is that all the things that we're doing that's causing things like the extinction crisis, so species to go extinct, but also, say, the climate crisis, is, um, is actually leading to us increasing the risk of diseases emergence, because most of those infectious diseases, like COVID, come from wildlife. So in the report, we found that 70% of new infections that have emerged in people come from wildlife. And we found that um, about 30% of those have come because of changes to um, land use and what we're doing in nature and then we find things like for example a quarter of wild species are traded by people so there's lots of key facts that we've found in this report that show that what we're doing to nature is leading to increased risk of diseases emerging from wildlife to people uh, but also we found there are many other diseases that maybe haven't made it to the full pandemic stage but they've been large outbreaks like Ebola virus in West Africa um, and all these uh, outbreaks are showing us that there are things that we're doing wrong and that includes things like um, increased intensification of agriculture, increased encroachment into wildlife habitats, increased trade in wildlife and so there's lots of things that we are doing wrong that's leading to increased contact with wildlife in the natural world and these are the things that we think we need to reduce to prevent the emergence of new infectious diseases. I think we can all take some individual responsibility for what we're doing and how that might lead to the increased risk of disease emergence. So um, it's really a question of choices. So if you think everything that we do in terms of consumerism, uh, what we buy, it comes from somewhere. And what's really interesting is, um, for example, if you take the fruit that you eat or the iPhone that you use, there are components and they come from different parts of the world. So, that, so what we can do is think about what we're buying, where it's coming from and how it was extracted or made. And I think we really need to be really critical of what we're doing to um, think about why we want it, do we want it and do we need it to try to stop these disease emergence events happening.